Hi folks, well, back to normal viewing, almost. <laughs> I had a little potato reveal and uh, had a quite a nasty little surprise. Two nasty little surprises in the potatoes. Uh, another bucket, obviously. Um, I've got two buckets left and a tub. Nah, uh, the two 10 litre buckets left. But I also uh, harvested a curry squash and I cut that watermelon and uh, had a look at that and weighed it. Uh, but anyway, I'll get on with it. I will say thank you again to subscribers, new and old, and uh, don't forget to share, like, and uh, comment. Nice to be nice. So, first curry squash. It's right because the, uh, the uh, yeah. <laughs> that bit, that bit there, it's gone brown. Just snapped off nicely. We're gonna have some soup with that today. I want to get some potatoes. We need some potatoes. Yes. And uh, I've also, I'm gonna cut that. I've, I've pulled the watermelon off. I'm gonna cut it in half. Have a look at it. So we'll see what we get. So we can see that. Yeah. Let's have a look what we've got here. I've got two more ten liter buckets and uh, a barrel with five seed in it. Oh. Two, I can see something moving in there. What's what? that? Look at that! Ew, it's so big! How do, What the? Mole heck? cricket! How is that so big? That's a mole cricket. Look at that. That's one of the problems we have here. That's huge! Yeah. swim for long. Doesn't look very good. I wonder if that's a more cricket nest there in there. Uh oh. Been ate, isn't he? And I wonder if it's the more crickets that's been eating them as well. What's up? Voles and mole crickets, eh? That's my problem here. So many potatoes. Somebody was eating some. Yeah, the vol the the, cr the cricket, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's still alive. Oh my gosh, it's still alive. It will be still alive. It'll not be alive for long in there. Yeah. He's in a bucket where he's can't get out. Yeah, that's now the other one's out. Hey Didi! Hello! That out of there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, seems, really seems hard. Seems to have had a good chew on three of them. Yeah. There must be something in here. And I'm going to stomp it all up. Crunch it. So I'll take you and green again. But now they both go in here. What was that? Woo. Oh, there's another one, look. That's a small one. Yeah. So, them guys are eating my potatoes as well. Now, this bucket's got two big holes in the bottom. So, that could be reason. And I've, they've been left and left and left. But that's two mole crickets left in the garden. Oh, another potato. Another quail are eating. If they eat them, you know how good that would be? Put the Hey, Quails, got some food. Oh my god, one started to pick it. Run! You're not gonna be alive in there long. <laughs> not gonna be alive for long in there. Bit of quail gut cricket there. Can you stay in there? Well, you're not swimming. So. You're not swimming for long in there. Good night. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, did you say? Yeah. Rest in peace. So, that's that. Not very good. Minus the cricket damage. And that's what we got from the crickets, so that's uh, also something. I don't know whether you can see that, can you see that? I'm gonna smack them up. 
I'm going to smack them up. I bet there's a meal there. These guys are playing uh, more cricket uh, football now, look. <laughs> no, but they're cheating too, you know. <laughs> it's not football. It's a, They put it in your den. It's not football. It is. It's they put it in the in mouth. Oh, mouth. Okay, football. it's mouth ball. It's mouth ball. <laughs> mouth cricket. Yeah, mouth cricket. Funny... And you... They try always to pick out. Yeah. The funny thing now, I've got loads of quail going uh, broody. <clears throat> if I don't collect all the eggs all the time, then uh, they, they'll sit on them. So I think it's a, it's a huge myth about quail not brooding eggs. I think it's just a case that most people keep quail in them cages and take the eggs out every day and uh, they don't get a chance to go broody. I've noticed that it's, what are we on? The seventh and eighth month here for me when these guys start to brood day. I won't use it as a method to rear young because you've got no control. And obviously losses are greater if mother's doing it herself, even in controlled conditions I had before. But um, I would say that there's not a problem with these birds going brood day. I wouldn't say that people are saying, yeah, it's 1% or something like that, but I would say like, they'll do it if you've got it in right conditions. I've been deep mulching this. This year, this, this will be cleaned out, so it's been, I ain't cleaned this in a year, and I've had no problem with smells or anything. And uh, some of these birds are gonna be cold to go into the freezer. I've got a lot of males now, and I've got to do a choice. But what I'll be doing is be picking smaller birds, smaller that are mature. Reason being is I want to try and breed bigger birds, and just keeping bigger ones will obviously, um, well, hopefully, give me a bigger, a bigger stock, you know, or birds that become bigger over time. But there's, I think, uh, there's 32 birds in here now. So let's have a look how much seed potatoes we. Not a lot. That was two seed potatoes as well. Pound five eight. Not very good at all, really, is it? But hey, that's minus the three that the cricket said eaten. While well, I'm here, I'll wear this little watermelon. These are baby, whatever you call them. <laughs> one point one, one and one eighth. I'll give that a cut, see what we've got. So we're recording. My camera girl, me and the camera girls on camera. Not you. It's watermelon. Yeah, but this stuff. That's the seeds. That was gross looking. Mm, the seed shots. They look gross. You can't eat those. You can eat the seeds. Give it a try. Very right. I don't Are like. Are you pointing it in the right place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like watermelon. That's perfectly right. Thank you.